Hello, you all beautiful Cancer. Welcome to the channel. I'm Rad. Welcome to Radku Tarot. And uh, in this whole video, I'm going to walk you through your week December 30th to uh, November 30th, I'm sorry, up until December 6th, uh, 2020. And while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, just to remind you that if you are interested in a personal reading, um, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website and in the very front page of uh, my website you're going to find a full list of my services and as well their pricing and also if you do enjoy the way I read tarot cards uh, and you want to learn to read the same way basically um, I'm offering a tarot classes which are under the tarot classes section of the website and if you go down that road I highly recommend you to start with the major arcana first. So with that being said uh, the first card we do have for your week here that is going to be the world this marks your um, general topic of the week followed by the next one which stands as the energy that supports you, uh, that feeds the topic, I'm sorry. So that energy feeds the topic itself and that is going to be the uh, Empress. Moving next, we do have the challenges that you are going to overcome. And I can see in the reflection of my camera that we do have the Wheel of Fortune and it's really a good one, Cancer. I mean, uh, it's like, you know, things are aligning without even, without even you putting any try behind it, you know, without even you putting any efforts behind it. But the fourth card, it is the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy here. We do have the Eight of Swords, followed by the fifth one, which stands as how others see you uh, or what kind of impression you leave into people around. And that will be the Death card. Moving next, uh, we do have uh, the uh, obstacles that are going to hold you back unless they are not overwhelmed by you. That is going to be the, key, the, uh, the Knight of Cups. The seventh card we do have, it is uh, the uh, things that helps you, what is going to push you forward, you know, what is going to make your life easier. That will be the page of one this time around. And the last one, which is the eighth card of uh, this spread, it is the guidance that Saru is offering. And we do have the uh, eight of wands. Oh, right. So that is like, uh, it looks like a battle. The old or the new thing. And that's, a, that's an internal struggle that you are going to go through. Uh, you will have to decide. Are you going to go for the new thing or are you going to stick with the old one? And by going through the reading, um, it advises the reading itself advises you what you should do. So let's uh, jump into the first two cards here, which are um, the world and the empress. So energy wise, the week is going to be... Um, I, I, the word is not peaceful, but it is a week where uh, it's uh, deprived from you being in an awkward situation and in an awkward position itself. In other words, it's going to be a comfortable week for you, regardless how active the week is going to be itself. And that comfortability that you are going to experience and that you are going to be um, um, saturated with, if I may say that way, is going to give you the, ne the, the, the necessary environment and comfort, of course, to make a well-founded and uh, balanced decisions for uh, your things and your endeavors, the endeavors in general. And amongst those decisions, there is one that is dangling there, uh, that is the most important one, where to next? Because the topic shows that you are to reach the culmination of things with the world card. On the very prime position, the world is exactly that. You reach the culmination of something, the culmination of your job of, or of your, let's not be that dramatic this time around, okay? So you reach the culmination of your project. So which project next? You reach the culmination of your holidays. So what you're gonna do next with your, uh, with your life. You reach uh, the culmination in a, I don't know, uh, in an endeavor into your relationship. So what is going to be the next endeavor, okay? And that is 
the very topic itself. Now, by its own nature, the world is very positive card. It tells you that you are going to uh, successfully reach that uh, uh, culmination of, of things, of matter. It's pretty much it is the end of the line for the endeavor itself, but it is not the end of the line of life. And for that reason, you have to think of what is your next perspective. And here it is where the uh, challenge comes, which is the Wheel of Fortune. So Wheel of Fortune in this particular case, it plays a role like uh, out of your control, uh, uh, how can I say, a, um, um, a circumstances was the word that I was searching for. So a circumstances happens. Those circumstances, while out of your control, they align very well with your situation. It's like a gift of grace. It's like a gift of, of God if you do believe in God. You know, you are wondering what you should do and suddenly, you know, a door opens for you without you even reaching your hands for the handle. And uh, here is the challenge. Are you going to go through the door or not? Well, according to the Wheel of Fortune, uh, that door gives you an opportunity to make once in a lifetime change. And that change, uh, the will always give is giving you is giving it to you that the change is going to dramatically improve this uh, your own personal circumstances. But because it's a challenging card, uh, the only way how that fits, at least in my mind, for you it could fit in in a different perspective. But to me, if that was happening to me, uh, the will here would have speak that I would kind of like find it very difficult to believe. That it, is, uh, that it is true, you know, it's way too good to be true. I mean, it's, it's just, I never received such a gift, you know. I always toiled for my, uh, for my um, uh, benefits. I always toiled for my results. And now just suddenly, you know, things just happen. And uh, you may think that there is a catch behind it. And uh, now that I think of the other thing that may, may, may make it a challenge, it is the undermining your self-worth, like thinking that I won't be able to handle it. Whichever it is, you have to pretty much drown or drone, drown, drone, like put it under a water, that feeling, kill it, do it, sleep through it, drink through it, whatever, do whatever you, can, you, you have through it. But you need to extinguish it as soon as possible. Uh, and that is how you overcome the challenge and take on this circumstances because like said or like the wheel of fortune says they are going to improve your personal circumstances and they're going to make your life much better through once in a lifetime change um in terms of career uh, the most likely way that this is going to happen is you by you being very busy you know and out of that business uh something major pops up a major client a major job offer you know uh, um, I kind of like a major uh, major project, but because it's out of nowhere, completely unpredicted, completely spontaneous, was the word that I was searching for, it may cut you off surprise and unprepared. That's, that's all that there is to it. So moving next one, we do have the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy here. That will be the, uh, eight, the uh, eight of a sword. And uh, that card here points that your limits stretch far beyond what it is offered to you so you can definitely handle it and you will very well know it the question though is do you believe yourself so that is something that you need to think about here because in my mind looking at those cards there is without a doubt whatever those circumstances that are going to make your life better are, you can handle them to the best of your abilities, to the best of their development. But sometimes, you know, fear takes place. Sometimes, yeah, it's, it's fear, actually. I, I don't have another word to say it. Sometimes fear does it. And when we are afraid, fear rots our soul. It just it makes it inca incapacitate us. And that incapacity could be the very reason why your why your life cancer may not improve throughout the week do not be afraid to go for the better to go for the for the more beautiful thing do not be afraid to 
to do what, what is offered to you or, or to take on what is offered to you. That, that's why it's offering, because it's to you, not to somebody else. Uh, right. So moving next, we do have how people are going to see you, what kind of impression you're, you're going to leave into the people around. And that is going to be the death card. So it's very short interpretation, really. People are going to see you ready for the change. That's all that there is to it and ready to let your past behind. That is how they see you. Are, are you like that? Well, that is pretty much depending on your personal stance. Because sometimes, well, most of the time, how people see you and what is truly within you and within your domain, they, these are two different things. That's why we are often misunderstood. Okay? Most of the people know nothing about our lives, let alone the battles we, we, we lead in our lives. So don't be judgmental, you know, if, um, I don't know, if you are provoked in any way, if it's just, you know, the impression you give into the uh, environment, into the surrounding, um, <clears throat> and uh, don't take it personally. This is what I am trying to say, but definitely people are to see you that you are ready for the change, and, and that vision exactly could be, for example, the new job offer. Someone may see you that you are ready to take on the challenge. You are now bored to do the same thing over and over again. You need some kind of a change of a scenery, right? And it, it wants to offer you a new job for exchange of your old one. And that way you're putting your past behind. It could relate to relationships as well. But the, the, the thing is, is that people see you that you are ready to, to make the major move here, to put your past behind your back and just embrace your future. Uh, then we do have what is going to there to deter you. Okay, what, what, what is going to hold you down or back? And that is a person that we do have here, Knights of Cups. It could be your colleague, it could be your friend, lover, child, uh, uh, family member, etc. etc. Um, Knights of Cups, these people, when they, um, in this particular case, they will try to convince you that actually you did not reach the uh, culmination of things, that there is still what could be taken from it or developed in it. And uh, they are going to be very convincing, okay? Uh, because they do believe so. I mean, they genuinely believe so that there is still what to be taken from it. But the, the, the other card says, no, it doesn't. And that's why this works to your detriment. And if you do believe to these empty talks, then, well, the, let's face it, the most you are going to do is, use your, is miss your amazing opportunity here. Uh, it's, it's not like you're not going to have any other opportunities, but this one, it, the same opportunity, because the Wheel of Fortune comes only once in life in this narrative, okay, uh, uh, as, it, as it is. So, uh, it's, for example, if that's a job, you're never going to get an offer for the same job again, okay? Or if it is a person, that person is never going to approach you again. So, you have one chance to seize it. It's not like you're not going to have other jobs or other people showing interest, but this specific job or this specific person, they come only once and they don't repeat themselves. And uh, this Knight of Cups, which again could be anybody in your life, um, will try to convince you that it's not like you're not ready for the new, but, but you have so much more to yet to accomplish in the old. And if you do believe them, you're just going to waste your time. And uh, if that's fine by you, suit yourself, so to speak. Uh, moving next, we do have uh, the um, what is going to help you. Uh, that is the page of wands, or rather like what is going to push you forward, what is going to work to your benefits. We do have another person here, and uh, this one is just on the contrary to the, uh, to the Knights of Cups. This one is going to encourage you to embrace everything new, that actually what is happening to you, it's an amazing news. It is uh, it just it gives you freedom because this is how the page of wands operates. Page of wands seeks freedom. Page of wands seeks new experience, um, adventures with the word that I was searching for. And they are going to be so excited for you, so happy for you. Uh, and one of the things that they're going to do for you, Cancer, is that they're going to remind you actually how strong you are. Uh, which works to, uh, uh, to, to, to supplement or rather like to support or to boost your confidence, which you may lack if you try to, to go by on your own without sharing it with friends, you know, sharing the idea with friends or the circumstances with friends, etc., etc. This one should say, no, man, are you, are you crazy? You know, you, 
do you know how many people even don't dare to dream for such a good circumstances? What are you doing? You know, uh, you definitely can I believe in you and so on and so forth. It's going to encourage you like there is no tomorrow. Uh, and um, other thing that this page is going to do for you, it will try to shield you from any negative information. Like if there is a bad news that is about to come to you, they will try to put your mind off it or uh, kind of like rephrase it in a way that is going to be more, more milder to be assimilated. I personally am not a supporter to such kind of a behavior, but it's, it's the page of wands. Now, one thing I want to um, tell you about the page of wands it is that these people, they don't handle very well others to try to tell them what to do at all. That's how you can, uh, you can see who the page of wands is and as well you can know that they are genuinely happy for you. For they are a one lonely wolves uh, within themselves because they could be the center of the company, okay? But within them, they are very lonely. And they are very fragile from within. And uh, <clears throat> in your situation, uh, they are happy for you in genu genuinely because usually they're not happy for anybody. If, if they don't truly see the potential in there. So stick with the one that encourages you, according to the cards though, stick with the one that encourages you to go for, any, for everything new and accept that whatever have been accomplished, have been accomplished. And uh, the last one that we do have for you guys, which is the guidance that Tarot is uh, offering to you, that is the Eight, <laughs> the eight of Wands. And the guidance is that the risk is worth it. It's just that that's the sentence here. The risk definitely is worth it. It may look like you are shooting your arrows in an empty dark space, hoping to hit something, but the target is so large and so big that you have to hit in, that you have to shoot into the different direction, into the opposite direction where the light stands, for example, where the illuminated place stands, where you're coming from, so you not to hit it or so you miss it. Okay, it's the the target is so large. So literally here, it takes a real talent to mess this thing around if you decide to go for it. I mean, real talent. You have to be the unluckiest person in this earth to, to mess this one around. Um, so uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's for you, Cancer. I mean, it's, it's an amazing week that comes, uh, th that comes forward. I really hope that you realize that it is time for you to move on you know, uh, with your life, not with your, but not from your relationship, for example, if it is going well or from your job, but just to move on to the next thing, okay, in, in your life and um, uh, trust yourself, trust your, tr trust your abilities, trust your guts and always go with a positive person, okay, always go with the one that encourages you rather than the one that tries to convince you other way around. That is what to take as a lesson from uh, this reading. So that being said, guys, this was your uh, weekly general tarot reading. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and we shall see each other next time. Until then, bye.